Okay, 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 okay. Hey, hey, everybody, look. It's the two fat guys on the internet again. Hi, I'm Dan Pantsing. I'm the other guy on the other, the entire other side of the internet is Tony Schultz. Oh, hey, 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 6,000 took Robot X on some kind of on some kind of uh, punishment retreat. Uh, they're both out. Just I, I assume getting wasted, but uh, it's also meant to be punishment for Robot X. He'll be here next time to tell us the entire story of of what actually happened. Yes, he'll be dragging him in, and I, for one, can't wait. It'll be great. It'll be a fun time for everybody except for him, which is perfect. Perfect. Perfect situation. So with that out of the way, what's what's yeah. what's up what's in the news with this? Well, I, I hear there's some beefs. I hear there's some online beefs going on with our ambivalence boys and some Ew, Scott and Wits that wear Jason masks from the movie Jason Thirteenth. What the? So there's there's this band called the Jasons, and their de facto leader Jason V is a prick. He's a not nice fella. He's starting. He's starting all kinds of fake lies and shit with with toward the ambivalence boys. What the hell? And and their friends at Mom's Basement Records. Fuck them also. Uh, if I didn't say it already, fuck the Jasons too. Uh, went, went on this whole tear, just just making making our ambivalence boys look like a bunch of a couple of assholes. And I, I for one, am, am team ambivalence always. <laughs> Hashtag team ambivalence. So smash, the, smash the like button and subscribe if you like the ambivalence. Go, go listen to ambivalence podcasts. Show, show your support to these, to these good boys. They're good boys. Yeah, you see, as far as I know, Dad, Jason V, he just he kills a lot of people. He runs around. They tried to kill him a bunch of times. They set him on fire, electrocuted his ass, and he's up and fine and talking shit about our buddies' on the podcast. That's ridiculous. Me personally, not a fan. I don't like I don't like the Jason movies. I don't like the Jason's music. It's 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 it's, it's a lose lose. You know what I hate about the Jasons, the band. Uh, yeah. Every- yeah, you you guessed it. <laughs> yeah, no, there, there's there's nothing redeemable about them. The Jasons, you see, they're 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 under a, the Ramones core banner of of punk rock sub sub genres and. Being being a band that sounds exactly like the Ramones, already a gimmick and a pretty shaky one. And then you throw some goddamn stupid ass ho- hockey masks on top of that, and you got you got a double lame gimmick. You got a, you got two shit gimmicks, which doesn't make a good gimmick. Yeah, two shit gimmicks makes for a shit sandwich, which, as we all know, is shitty eating. It's you wouldn't want to eat the shit sandwich. Enter Minsky Pickup here. There it was. <laughs> ah, what the? Fuck they do like the war movie. They put the masks on. It's fucking hilarious. It's yo oh man, boy, oh boy, oh boy, are they ever, are they ever great and whatnot? Uh, I would say, I would suggest uh, tracking the Jasons down to give them a listen and to tell them how much they fucking suck and to tell them that you are uh, Team Ambivalence and fuck Team Mom's Basement Records. I'm uh, calling Danny Trejo right now because if anyone can fight a whole bunch of Jasons, it's Machete. Yeah, no, definitely. Machete could get that shit done. No questions asked. Machete, you could have talked to me earlier, is absolutely team ambivalence. Oh, that's good to know. That's really good to know. I, I personally just, you know, I talk to him once in a while. Tortuga, my, my boy. You, 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 your boy Danny, I get it. He's, he's, he's a good one. Hey, Dan. Why doesn't anyone say the word Jackson anymore? Like, like, hey, Jackson. Oh, that's a goddamn good question. <laughs> gonna play the theme music here. Gonna put the theme music here. Why don't they say that anymore? Why?
Oh, that was nice theme music. Good so, theme music, if you ask me. I, I, I never heard a theme so good. Hmm. What were we talking about? Uh, 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 I don't know, Jackson. You tell me. You see, Jackson, I bought me a penny paper in the red days for a bit. Isn't I, that what the time I'm talking something. <laughs> yeah, I probably fucked up real bad. I'm like, I'm going to get canceled because I said some weird shit. So apparently, in, in, in Tony's mind, people used to call each other Jackson a lot. Hey, Jackson. And now they don't. I think I just watched too many cartoons. It's probably a very old... It, it's, it sounds like a Looney Tunes kind of thing. It do be Looney Tunes in. In the, in the 40s era in which Looney Tunes reside. Man. Jackson, man. <laughs> I reckon, I reckon <laughs> people don't call each other Jackson anymore because of, of Michael Jackson and how terrible he is, or was. Well, if that's why, then uh, problem solved. That's, that's my guess. I can't say. I don't know. That's why we're talking about it. Roll the music, Dan. Why don't they say that anymore? Why? So, uh, Good let's music. see. What else do we got up here? What's in the news? Oh, this is pretty cool. So I ran into Iggy Pop the other day. Oh, shit. At McDonald's. As you do. I was like, Iggy, yo, you want to run in and uh, get me a McRib? And he was like, sure, bud. So he did, but when he came out, he was fucking with me because he was like, uh, now I'm going to bring you your hog. <laughs> We're doing this now, okay? So me and me and uh, Iggy Pop are driving. <laughs> it's at night, and, uh, it? and it's dark because you know night. You know, yeah. Scooting yeah. along the road and shit, and all of a sudden, you know, he's like, "Now I can see the rolling fog," because because it got foggy. Oh, did it? It got foggy too. Okay, that's 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 a detail that you need. That's to know. how he talks to me. It's it's kind of weird. It's probably from all the drugs. No, uh, probably is. I'm sure. I'm sure you've got another instance of Iggy Pop talking to you at some point. In, or another I was thing. in the swamp, Dan. Uh, <laughs> catching tadpoles with Iggy Pop. Uh, yes. Yeah. Me and Iggy, we pretty much do everything together. <laughs> and he was. This was a double. He was like. Uh, you know, I was like, Iggy, I'm going to get this frog over here, you know. And he was like, uh, no, I want to get that frog. No, I want to get that frog on that log. And he, like, kept going. And, like, it didn't even really go with the song after a while. So. He's a uh, weird one, Mr. Pop. He's a strange fellow, then. <laughs> he's a queer one, Mr. Pop. He's times the word of dog. <laughs> don't, don't let me stop. You. Don't let me get. You. <laughs> and they, there's more, but you'd have to talk to him about it. Uh, guess what his favorite Ren and Stimpy uh, thing was? I I have absolutely no idea. Please inform me. Now I want to listen to the song about the log. That fits so seamlessly and perfectly. It's amazing. He's a genius. It would be it for me to question his, his abilities. Yeah, no, never never question Iggy Pop or his, his rhyming prowess. He's a Popsman, and I, I'm just the fat man on the fatter net. He, we have no soda about our names at all, and really that's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I, I could have been going by Dan Pepsi this entire time, and I didn't even realize it. You know, it's, it's fucked up. Dan Pepsi. Yeah. No, new sponsors may be coming out of the woodwork. Pepsi, if you ever want to sponsor my life, I will tell all of the quote-unquote me, 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 truths that you want people to know about your soda, how it's actually good for them, and it won't kill them, and it won't make them obese, and it, all that good stuff. I will happily put that all out into the world for you, Pepsi, for money, and also Pepsi. <laughs> uh, no, 
now I want to write a Pepsi blog. Well, that's what uh, he was just saying the other day to me, too. So, uh, did you know that in the year 2000, I worked in a movie theater? Okay. And with that uh, came watching a whole lot of movies a whole lot of times. Sure, sure. So I got I, I went up and looked at uh, what came out in the theaters in the, in the Y2K, and I got a list here of the ones that I remember having seen uh, the most. And, and you may have some thoughts on them yourself, so we're going to go down the list. Let's do it. First up, we got the first X-Men movie. Okay. Which I came in on my day off to watch that three times. Sure, it did be fine. I mean, that was like the first good, one of the first good superhero things. Much it was Blade and then X Men and then just a torrent of shit after that. Uh, next, next up we got Mission Impossible Two. Oh, hey. <laughs> directed directed by James Wu of all people, uh, and it shows. It's got doves. It's got spinning. It's got throwing sunglasses in slow motion. It's got the letterboxing around, uh, around the eyes a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and it got Tom Cruise doing Tom Cruise stuff, but really? I. But I the, the part the part that burned me up the most, Tone, is hearing that "Hey, hey, hey" Metallica song about seven hundred times a fucking week. <laughs> I bet, I bet that's rough, real rough. Hey, you motherfuckers, go out and listen to two fake dudes on the internet. Then we have Jim Carrey's The Grinch. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got the Grinch of Jim Carrey, dumb. <laughs> me, me personally, not a fan. <laughs> A timeless classic. <laughs> Jim Carrey is the bridge. <laughs> it's one we have to watch while we were cleaning the theaters, but none of us really went in voluntarily to see it. And uh, it's, it's a bio. Yeah. To fat guys on the internet are much better than propane. Next yeah. up, next up, Tom, we've got Meet the Parents. Meet the Parents. What was that? Was that the uh, De Niro Stiller one? It's that's the joint. Oh, and he had the cat that looked just like my cat, though. That's all I remember, is I've seen the ads like 80 million times. People were shitting their pants over this fucking movie, thinking it was so goddamn funny. And I'm like, this is just another lame-ass fucking gross-out romantic comedy that the Fairly Brothers did so well. It's like when me and Iggy Pop were in Denmark, and he was like, now I want to wear your clogs. It's, it's exactly like that. All humans should die. Two fat guys on the internet should die. Robotics should live. What do we then got next there, Dan? Then, Tone, we had Battlefield Earth. Ooh, classic. I, you know what? Me and you have this in common. I didn't see it a lot of times, but I actually went to the theater to see that fucking thing for some reason. Well, I've, I've seen it a good handful of times voluntarily all the way through. Uh, just because it was so fucking... It was so hilariously sh- shitty. Yeah, I mean, like, it's one of the newer, better, bad movies, except that isn't from, like, the 80s or 90s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's a post-Y2K good-bad. Uh, and so, also, Scientology. It's all about Scientology. Mm-hmm. So we got that going for it. We got some Dianetics in there. Next, Tony is Big Mama's House. Okay, now we're talking... Big Mama's House, if you recall, is uh, it's Martin Lawrence in a drag fat suit. Well, I do remember that, but I don't think I've ever seen the old Mama's House. Literally nothing else to know about it. It's <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> it's, I am going to go out on a limb and say there's fart jokes. I don't. I don't recall that exactly, but I would. I would definitely have to. Assume. Somebody out there in the internet, look it up, because I'm not looking it up. I, yeah, I'm not watching that movie again. Fuck no. Uh, but then, Tone, we have Gone in 60 Seconds. Mm-hmm. That's uh, Nicolas Cage and a bunch of cars, and it was a... The fat guys on the internet are here to amuse you? They're fucking clowns. And we have the uh, the, the Shaft and... remake from, from the year 2000 with uh, Sam Jackson as, as the guy. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he said the MF word. It, it was I. There's too many motherfucking shafts on this motherfucking movie. <laughs> we got tight. We got Titan AE after that, Tony. Yeah, you, know, you know about this Titan AE? Yeah, yeah. Was that an animated one? It is, Tony. It's a fucking beautiful goddamn animated. Yeah, movie. that movie is good, huh? 
that movie failed so fucking hard and killed Warner Brothers animation. <laughs> Like, literally. It's fucking horrible. But it's a great movie. Fucking people are dumb. Yeah, I might have to uh, revisit that one there. Take take a couple of squares or a couple of funguses. Give that a go, Tone. You'll have a good time. I'd love to. Just like in the next movie, Tone, Chicken Run. Oh, yes. Yes. Which, which is the great escape with, with claymation chickens. And it's As it was known in Denmark, Cock Dash. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's true. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got, we got, we got, we got, we got me, myself, and Irene. After that, we got more Jim Carrey. Tone. More Jim Carrey. Wow, that, we were. that one I loved when it came out. I thought it was really funny, but then after a few more viewings, I'm like, this kind of, this kind of sucks. Yeah, there was a big me, myself, and I period when that was like a clever thing, wasn't it? Pretty much, yeah. But there was there was the De La Soul song first, and the <laughs> yeah. But I am gonna that gets a pass. That's De La Soul, man. Just me, myself, and I. Uh, <laughs> hey. Then there's the Patriot. There's 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 the American version of Braveheart. It's called the Patriots. Oh, oh, is... I, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh God. Oh man. Oh God. Oh man. Oh God! Oh man! Oh God! Oh man! Oh God! Was that Old Mel, Mel Gibson doing the American the Revolution? Ape, nice anti-Semite fucking guy <laughs> movie. They're hating Jews in there, you know, as as you do. Uh, it's, but, but, <laughs> it's a sprinkling. <laughs> <laughs> that town, we've got the adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Mm-hmm. The, 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 the CGI one, right? Well, no, it was all live action except for Moose and Squirrel. Oh, okay. All right, all right. And I don't remember who played Natasha, but it was probably somebody else awesome because Boris was played by Jason Alexander. Oh, <laughs> and, and Fearless Leader was played by fucking Robert De Niro. Hey, yo, hey. They, they dragged some real motherfuckers into that goddamn movie, and I watched it maybe two times all the way through while baked off my ass while working. I'm gonna get that moose. Working, but yeah. I'm gonna get that moose. <laughs> Kermit the Frog here to say I can't stand the two fat guys on the internet. They are just awful. Then, too, there's the perfect storm. Yes. It sure was you a movie. What movie were you, were you saying next? Uh, that's oh, I just, thought you were just talking about the Patriots. <laughs> Go ahead. The Perfect Storm Tone is a movie starring uh, uh, George Clooney uh, as a fisher boatman uh, in a big storm. I, it's it's really dumb. It's really oh, yeah, dumb. and the tagline is, where we go one, we go all. <laughs> God, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, the, 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 the scary movie, the, the very first edition of scary movie, which I probably watched about twenty times. Uh, yeah. Oh, was that the the airplane style about horror? Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, okay. they, they were all right, movies. yeah, with the Wayans brothers that, and shit. And they did it all the modern horror movies, and it was funny then, and now I can't stand it because it's just. Yeah, funny. I'll give it. I'll give it uh, half a stir the soup dance. <clears throat> I'll give it one half crummy and nothing more. Uh, there was Loser after that. So, you know, you know the movie Loser. That one I genuinely don't think I even heard of. It's uh, Jason Biggs. You remember Jason Biggs, pie fucker? Oh, he did fuck that pie. So he was he's back in an all new loser comedy adventure where he plays a guy who moves from the Midwest into Southern California, and oh, what well, he doesn't fit in at all. Oh, how is he going to make friends and get a girlfriend? Oh, God. And which he eventually does, and it sucks, and it's terrible. That reminds me of a time when I was in California with Iggy Pop, and please, we please. were at this corner place, and uh, I ordered a hamburger, and he was like, no, I want to fuck that hot dog. It's, I don't know why he wanted to fuck the hot dog. It's like not that fuckable of a thing. Well, I mean, maybe the hot dog would fuck him, and he would put it into one of his orifices. No, I think he's a speed otter bottom. Absolutely, you're right. You're right. I, 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 you're right. 
Shout out to Iggy Pop. Pokemon yeah. 2000. Okay, I did not see that. Was that a, that was regular animation, right? Yep, yep, yep. CG hadn't fully taken over yet, so that was that was mostly traditional animation, but it was just a Pokemon movie, so it fucking sucked. <laughs> Muddy Professor 2, The Clumps. As we know, in all comedy series, number two is always the best, all unless it gets to number six. Because <laughs> then, yeah, number six and on are the best. <laughs> This is the movie, Tony. This is the movie that gave the world Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Okay. Uh, let me get on a limb here, Dan. There was farts in it. That movie had many a fart, yes. <laughs> Eddie, Mur Eddie Murphy playing about eight characters who just, they be fart. <laughs> Coyote up, Tony. Coyote oh, up. Yeah. Remember that, that the half nakeds on the bar, is that the one? Yep, and they're all dancing up on the bar, and that's what started that horrible trend that still carries on to this day in horrible suburban bars. You gotta wonder how many people a year are injured because of the coyote ugly. It's a fucking damn tragedy. I hope it's a I hope it's a lot. Like a lot, lot. <laughs> it's true enough. True then there, was, then there was Hollow Man, Tony. Oh, the, this one, Bacon, right? There's a Bacon oh, in this one? Bacon as Johnny Invisible. And you get to see his pee-pee. And he's invisible and you still get to see his junk, huh? Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's, there's some Kevin Bacon pee -pee. Oh, I, dude, I did see that. I mean, Iggy went and he was like, now I want to see his schlong. <laughs> and, and then we did. It's like he knew it was coming. I mean, he may, he maybe was part of the production of that movie. Uh, we, we will never know. Space yeah, Cowboys tone. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, T J J Tommy L J Jones. He is. Clinton Tommy L Jones is in there. Ain't there some Clinton there too? And like all some, the all the old men that were. Yeah, I was just gonna say they dug up all the olds and put them in. <laughs> And they're like, we're going to go back to space because that's what we did before. And then, then they do. And that's it. <laughs> it it's. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I would, try to, I would try to talk people out of seeing that movie at any opportunity that I could. You're a hero, Dan. You're working it for the people on the streets. And I'm glad that at least people can hear that you've been out there doing good work. Yeah, if, if, if I didn't like any of these movies, if, even more so at the time, I'd be like, they they'd be like, give me a ticket to this, and be like, you don't want to, be, you don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, and they still would most times. But anyway, the next movie is the replacements. Tell the replace was that uh, was a Slyman movie. It was not Tony. It was a Keanu movie uh, where all of the regular Joes become the new football team because the the guys went on strike or something, and they. Regular boys win the game. And oh, okay. That's like a remake of a remake, probably, or some shit like that. I think that's an old one. I think it was based on true events, kind of thing. All right, Dan. I fucking, on Skype on my computer, I'm using it. I turned on the fucking captions just for fun. That's oh, pretty great. good. <laughs> yeah, turn on the captions on the YouTube videos, too. It gets pretty fucking funny sometimes. You gotta love it. Oh, they sent it to you. What's the that? Cell. The cell. cell. Now, let me guess. That is Jennifer Lopez. It is. And she plays She plays a detective lady, and she has to go into the mind of the murdery guy to get the answers of with the murder. Into the smell of the mind. All, all of the parts where they're in the real world and they're just doing real life shit, fucking snooze fest. But when they're in sure. that mind and all that trippy shit is going on, I thought that man. Yeah, it was a good. It was all right. Like there were some people who like based their life on that fucking thing. <laughs> but like, yeah, yeah it was all right. Loving that shit back in the day. Uh, I thought it was fine. Only, only the arts were cool. Fucking. Yeah, you do be selling. Then there was Bring It On. Bring It On. Is that a cheerleading cheerleader in movie? It is. It's the movie that basically gave us Kirsten Dunst as a megastar, so I'm cool with that. Uh, Ladies. Basically, Tone, there's one team of cheerleaders 
and there's another team of cheerleaders, they're having a competition, Tony. Only one team of cheerleaders can win. Which one's it going to be? Is it going to be the white girls or the black girls? What the hell? Oh, boy. They just segregated it, eh? That's, that's lit. The movie is <laughs> the white girls versus the black girls. It's pretty Oh, cool. boy. Uh, so I know how that one turns out. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's how it, they, they all become friends. That's how it ends. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, that's how the world should work. The whites win, and the blacks just be nice about it. Kermit the Frog here to say I can't stand the two fat guys on the internet. They are just awful. Almost famous tone. Yeah. Okay. What, that's. I think I can picture the cover of it, but I don't know who's in that one. The picture of the cover is just, uh, was it Heather Graham or was it the other girl? Either way, just the face with the close-up of the sunglasses on. Sunglasses. Uh, even, though, even though the movie was about the, the journalist kid going on tour with the band that isn't Led Zeppelin uh, and, and starting to buy into the life of the rock and roll mans, even though it's all a big lie and nobody's ever really happy, and then they almost die, but they don't, so they're all even more gung-ho about life. Copper Balloon. The Exorcist re-release tone. The X. Oh, okay. I, don't, I see that. I don't think I did. Is that still uh, Jim Carrey too? No, it's literally a re-release of The Exorcist. Oh, they just said here's The Exorcist. Yep. Sweet. <laughs> it's pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the Titans tone. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. I know that's Denzel. That is Denzel, and he's another based on true events of the football team that could, but or couldn't, but then could and did. Mm. Uh, so it's a movie, all right. Digimon the movie, Tone. Digimon the movie. It's a movie, Tone. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it is. I don't even remember what happened to this fucking movie at all. It's just made to sell cards and toys. Who gives a fuck? Oh, Be dazzled. Of, hold on, hold on. Speaking of cars and toys, I was hanging out with Iggy Pop the other day, oh. and uh, I was showing him some of my toys, and he's like, now I want to steal that pog. Um, he was going to take your goddamn pogs? What the fuck? Is, he, you can't predict what he's going to do, man. It's fucked. Be dazzled, Tone. Okay. I, Elizabeth Early. And... And is it Brendan Fraser or something? Brendan uh, Fraser tone? Is it really? God, how the fuck am I remembering all this shit? <laughs> I, 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 I've seen these movies like a handful of times each. I don't know how you have any experience. I'm on the right amount of weed. <laughs> I, I actually I actually just rewatched this movie recently because of the Brendan Fraser renaissance that's happening right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is nothing but cheese, but it seems like it would have been like the most fun movie in the world to like make. Uh, Something just, tells me I've seen it at least once at some Liz, point. Liz Hurley is hot Satan. Let me tell you, kids, something out there. They used to just have TV on sometimes, and we used to, there was like just shit on, and you would watch it because it was on. So <laughs> so like, on. We'd just keep it on, and then yeah. you get the brains. I like it better now, but. Yeah. <laughs> the last the last one I remember from the list tone is pay it forward. Pay it forward. Who's that? Yeah, I don't remember. I remember of it. I don't can't tell you who's in that one. It was Haley Joel Osment, his movie after Man, uh, fuck that bitch. He owes me ten bucks. He does, but first he was in the Sixth Sense as the kid, and then he was in this as the kid. Uh, yeah, and the movie is all like douche. Yeah, it was dead just, people, and it's all fun till I get my ten bucks back. You little piece of shit. I mean, he was in Kingdom Hearts and everything. He could give you the fucking ten dollars. I don't know. Fucking ten. I know he's fucking millionaire. What the fuck? It's ten bucks. Pay me my shit, you cunt. Absolute fucking dickweed. Fuck. Oh, wait. Bringing him up, I thought I never. He would never come up. Well, fucking, he's he's here again. And he'll be pulling up in five minutes, man. So you better, you better get your get your hammer ready to break his thumbs. My dick. Your dick. I do break thumbs with my dick usually. My dick hammer. I refer to my dick as my hammer most of the time. So. Old Johnny Dick Hammer. Yeah, I mean, and then Iggy's always like, you know, now I want to see your slong. 
And I was like, dude, you use that one, so. He gets drunk. I don't know. He, he's not allowed to, or was, or he, he, he is drugs. You know, that's, that's all there is to it. Yeah, I think his liver is just like a spot. It just goes through the thing. His liver does go through the thing. Tell I was right doing now. a motion with both my hands that I thought somehow anyone else could see. <laughs> like he's pushing down towards my the floor. <laughs> it's pretty perfect. I it's a it. shame no one did see it, really. Uh, do we have any more news? Are we at intermission time? What's happening here, Tone? Let's do an intermission and then we can news. Intermission. Pudding. 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 Giga. Pudding. Pudding. Giga. Pudding. Pudding. Giga. Pudding. 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 Giga. It's two tons of giga pudding. No, pudding, 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 pudding. Your motherfucker is a giga pudding. Pudding, giga pudding, pudding, pudding. Your motherfucker is a giga pudding. Giga pudding, 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 pudding. Giga pudding, 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 giga pudding. Pudding, 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 giga pudding, giga pudding, 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 giga pudding. Hey. And what a song, Jesus Christ. It's I, 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 I've never heard such endorsement of Giga Pudding in my entire life. How are we so good? That's insane. Geniuses, really. That's all there is to it. Tone, what's in the news? Oh, it's, <laughs> well, we were thinking about uh, making a drinking game, but instead of drinking, you gotta, like, fucking spike up some heroin. <laughs> it's like, fucking, all right, man, I got three queens. You gotta fucking spike up. Just, just like a... <laughs> Regular drinking game, but the heroin poker or heroin. What's what, what's a good drinking card game? Asshole president. Yeah, yeah. Card. There you go. You get, yes. you, get you get a pair of queens. And that's time to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ever alive at the Pop end? Wins. We have your arm. He goes. <laughs> Iggy Pop wins every time. He, he does. He does love his heroin. That was a news. Uh, you were saying something about Red and Sailor, the Red Hot Chili fuckers, or whatever they're called. Well, I, I told Tony uh, after after a night of driving home from work. I, I have the radio on usually because who cares? And I heard the the, the new Red Hot. Well, the new at the time, new as of recording, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers song, and it sounded basically like Adam Sandler. And Anthony Kiedis have now become one because the verse is just like a dabba dooba dooba, a zooba dabba dooba, a dooba dabba dooba, zabba dooba dabba dooba. How has he not been working for the Red Hot Chili Men's? At, that's, it I, seems I, like a natural mix. I think Adam Sandler ghostwrites for the Chili Peppers, and Anthony Kiedis ghostwrites ghost for uh, uh, Happy Madison movies, and they, they have a have a kind of uh, parasitic relationship going on with each other. It's beautiful. It's, it's nature in action. <laughs> oh, so, so what if uh, Elton John was really into metals, like you know, lead, copper, you know, that kind of shit? He, he'd be uh, smelting John. <laughs> He would. He would. He would. Now I have to think of any of the ones that I thought of, and I don't want to go back to Messenger and look at him, but God damn it. You know, if he was a puppet maker, Toad, he'd be Felton John. He would be Felton John. And, like, he'd be throwing shit at you, and he'd be Pelton John. <laughs> You know, he would sometimes he would get a little angry at, at, at your behavior as his son and he would grab the belt and John. I really hate it when you're hanging out with him and he fucking breeze all over your ice cream and fucking melting John. Dude, I tell you. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, you know, sometimes he becomes a packet of Jello and he's Jelton John. <laughs> I know he does it. He's the green Jello, and it's fucking like in the shape of a shamrock. So he's Kelton John. <laughs> Oh, Tone, why? Why are we like this? <laughs> why are we like this? Why can't you go to a place and order, like, you order a flight of beers, like a flight of gravies? Like, I want brown to white, just a flight of different gravies. That... You'd, figure, you'd figure a place would pick that up by now, especially with all the chicken establishments we've got going on these days and, and whatnot. Uh, Raising Cane's. They, the they should have the gravy flights. Yeah, and then right in front of your little shot, there's just a little chicken nug size fucking chicken fried steak piece. It's fucking then gravy shooter to shoot it down. Now, is it to dip or do you shoot it? Do you like I it? think you chew and then just shoot the fucking gravy afterwards like a full shot. Interesting. Is that how you usually do gravy, Tony? I no. Like, I you're up, I, you're, up, you're up at Thanksgiving dinner table and you're cutting up a slice of turkey and you put the turkey in your mouth and you start chewing and then you take a little a gravy right up right up in your craw there and that's see turkey. if I would for me to take the gravy I'd have to take it out of the enema bottle right. that's already attached to me. Mm. See, I'm already getting it in the other way. See, I like to eat the turkey in the mouth and the gravy up the south. And then they have the meat, meat twain between. Uh, I get it. No, that's, that's 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 really the most perfect way to do it. Me personally, I like to just have a glass of gravy on the side uh, while I'm while I'm having my Thanksgiving dinner. And like I said, it take cut turkey, chew it up, <laughs> and repeat that until until you're done eating. And everybody at the table staring at you, but you don't care. You're the gravy yeah. boy. You're full, and per it's like a perfect balance. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, surely there must be no, uh, more news. I, I know, I know, I've got another segment of my own. But I'm just waiting to get to that. Oh to yeah, that. let's do the Wally World shit. Play the music. Stories, tales, adventures. Such is the life at Wally. Wally World. This is for you. Well, let's let's oh, let's hear what it is here, boys. So, while I was banned from the Facebooks for telling the Wally story of of my own, that's how I got banned, and I'll tell that one here first. Uh, more Wally stories happened, believe it or not. <laughs> While I was during during the months where I couldn't post them, uh, so I'm here to tell you a whole bunch of them right now. We'll start with the one that got me banned. This, yeah, um, this 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 white Karen pulls up in her in her in her mobility scooter, and I'm not trash of people that need mobility scooters, but I don't think this lady did. She's just being lazy, anyway. She comes up to me, and she's like, what's your machines open? And I'm like, um, all of them, but they're all being used right now. She's like, who's going to rip my stuff up for me? And I'm like, well, there's regular cashiers down in the 20s. She's like, no, no, I don't want to wait in line. And I'm like, well, you're going to wait in line either way, but we'll get somebody to help you as soon as you're ready. Eventually, she becomes ready, and I send this dude over who likes helping out old lazy people uh, to help her ring up. Sure. And, and he does that, finishes her order, and pays. And she's yelling, yelling at one of my little co-workers. Um, God knows what. Dude weighs me down. And I'm like, what's up? She's like, I want my own receipt. What the hell? And I'm like, I'm sorry. I paid with this card and also this card. I got the receipt for this card. I want the receipt for this other card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what, are you, what, what are you saying? Like... I use two cards, I want two receipts. And I'm like, that's not really how it works. She's like, oh, you can't do it either, huh? And I'm like, you certainly cannot. Like, well, you shouldn't have a fucking job either. <laughs> All right. Have a nice day. <laughs> Sounds so pleasant. 
And I think the fact that I called her a cunt like two or three times in that post is, is maybe what got me the bandage, bandaging for it. But uh, folks, if you use two, if you use two cards, you only get one receipt. But it shows you what you spent from each card. It's really, it's all, it's all right there. It's quite simple. Yeah, I mean, or you could be like, can you ring this shit up separately, and then no one would have fucking had to do shit. <laughs> there yeah, you go. There's literally two or three ways that could have been handled, but none of that would involve two receipts on one order. Or yelling at anyone. <laughs> yeah, you definitely didn't have to be yelling or telling us we don't deserve jobs. <laughs> Fuck you now. Okay. So now there's a, there's a sad one that comes next, Tony. And fucking, I hope yeah, gonna... fucking Yelton John, dude. Hey, Yelton John, when he reviews a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I told Tony this next story already. It's a sad one. Uh, not sad for me. Sad for the world at large. Uh, I was just chilling. I, I had done my shopping. I had taken my last break, and I'm like, fuck, I forgot to get a couple of things. So I'm going to fucking walk off, and I'm going to get a couple of avocados from my boy Edmund because he wanted to make some guacamole. Fucking, and there's this lady. There's black ladies there. It's, it's only important because it's very relevant to the story. I... Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at avocados. I, I, I have no idea what a good avocado looks like. I was the wrong guy for the job. But the lady says, you didn't have to follow me. And I'm like, what? She's like, uh, you, you're follow you followed me over here. And I'm like, uh, coincidentally, if at all, I just get some avocados. She's like, you know, just because I wear this head wrap doesn't mean you know who I am underneath. Oh, you don't man. Ouch, ouch. You should have just said, like, she's like, you don't have to follow me. Or I was like, why, are you an avocado? Because <laughs> that's what I'm I looking look for, an avocado. I'm just, kind of like, I'm just kind of like, okay. And she said something else which denoted that she deals with a lot of racism and for which she has to be paranoid on a daily basis. And I'm just like, okay. And I took yeah. the avocados and walked away because I felt really bad. Yeah, uh, poor lady, Jesus Christ. Yeah, and what's this goddamn world come to where... Just a guy buying avocados is something you have to be afraid of. It's fucking terrible. I know, man. Jeez Louise. So let's let's go to a, a slightly more lighthearted one. Boo, boo, uh, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> me, 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 me. We've talked about Crazy Coding Guy before, I think. Crazy Coding Guy? There's there's this guy at the Wally, this old white dude. He's, he's got like kind of white sh I'm giving you I'm trying to give people a, a visual of this guy he's got yeah, like sure. white shaggy hair underneath a trucker cap with the big aviator shades he's kind of fat he's wearing oh, like if you hear me starting to unzip just keep going <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been I've been going since I met the guy but uh, anyway <laughs> where's uh he's got he's got these these white chicken legs <laughs> hanging out from his gym shorts and I'm done <laughs> <laughs> wearing wearing some Crocs and then like a and like a gray fucking hooded sweatshirt. Uh, he, she, he looks he looks like he could be me in twenty years. Is what I get. Well, <laughs> okay, you know. He wanted uh, to to recap. He's wanted me to learn coding from a sub zero knowledge of coding from the, that I have. Yeah. For some upstart business that he has been upstarting for the better part of two years now. <laughs> And I and like he'll he'll tell me some crazy shit every time he comes. I posted him before. If you want to look up crazy coding guy, you'll find it on the Facebooks probably. Okay. Uh, this time he comes up to me, and he's like, "You want to split this with me?" And it's a it's a, somebody's PayPal Mastercard. Okay. And I'm, and I'm like, that doesn't seem seedy at all. And I'm, and I'm like, maybe what's your? He's like, I just found this on the floor. Let's split it. <laughs> And I'm like, hey, if you just found that on the floor, you can, I'll, I'll take it and I can give it to customer service. And if you want to use it, don't tell people that you just found it. You know, it's, it's a little shady. He's like, can you tell me how much is on here? And I'm like, I, I don't know, nor can I know. Uh, you could probably call the number on there or whatever, but you'll probably need PIN numbers or uh, knowledge of some kind that you don't possess. Yeah. And he ah, hands it over to me and I go bring it up to customer service. And that's that. <laughs> But Thursday, my, 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 my last day at work this week, Thursday he comes up, rolling through. He sees me standing guard at sub-checkout. He's not about ready to check out yet, but he's like, I'll see you in a few minutes. 
Okay. And I'm like, fuck, oh God, oh shit, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's finally happened. <laughs> so I wait for him to roll back up and get in line, and I'm like, I'm going on my lunch, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just to avoid him by any means necessary. Uh, Tone, did you know, Tone, that uh, 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 gingerbread houses, a popular Christmas accoutrement, uh, are, not, are not covered by Snap or Link or Food Stamps? Oh, you can't, you can't get the gingerbread house with Snap not, or Food Stamps. I, neither, neither the pre-built nor the kit covered by the government. Oh, and, yeah. uh, Apparently, hundreds of people didn't know this also. Oh, that must have been fun. They'd be like, why is this covered? And I'm like, uh, because the government says no. He's like, but it's food. And I'm like, eh, but it's arts and crafts also. They're gonna, it's a gray area, and they said no, so there's really nothing. <laughs> and most people were cool about it because they didn't know. They weren't really expecting. They were just yeah. Uh, Oh, I wouldn't. I'd be like, I fucking have no idea, man. Ask the man. <laughs> yeah, if, if they ever asked me if I know, and I'm like, I have no fucking idea, man. I'm not. I ain't the government. I can't shrug any higher. <laughs> I have no idea. So, so this this fellow around about my age comes up into the self checkout, comes up to me and he asks, and Android or iPhone. And I'm like, oh boy, you stink like liquor. <laughs> <laughs> and my actual answer was like, uh, if you're looking for phone stuff, it's gonna be back in electronics. He just kind of uh, man, you got, you got, you got all kinds of people up in here, man. <laughs> Which we sure do. <laughs> big, big and small and short and. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> little boys and little girls and shit. And I'm like, I'm not really too sure what you're asking me right now. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, iPhone or Android again? Yeah. Like, and I'm like, me personally, I'm an Android man myself. Yeah. Man, different charges, different phones and shit, man. And he kind of stumbles <laughs> away. And then later, he got kicked out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is my favorite <laughs> Wally story ever, maybe. To fat guys on the internet are much better than propane. Let's see. We got we got this young this young fella who I want to assume was in his early twenties. Uh, he's coming in buying buying some cheap liquor, tall boys. And as I do with any young person, I'm like, let's see your ID real quick. Oh man, do I come on? Do I really need to have an ID? And I'm like, well, yes. Why? I'm like, well, because you don't look old enough to drink, and I'm being watched. He's like, come on, nobody's watching us, dude. And I'm like, well, there's literally a camera right over our heads right now on this very station. There's cameras all over, and I never know where the narcs or the managers are hiding. So please, the ID. He digs through his wallet a little bit. He pulls out this old ass, like two generations ago, fucking state ID that's like 10 years out of fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking, he shows it to me, and I'm like, no, dude, come on, you got to do better than that. He's like, come on, man, please, nobody's watching. And I'm like, sorry, bro, and I unscan his liquor and bring it back because uh, nothing, nothing that he had to offer me was worth being fired over. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> oh, man. One, one of the ones, again, not, not a terribly long story, but uh, one night I'm all, all alone in the giant cell checkout area because you have a big, big, big cell checkout area and a little cell checkout area on the other side. Okay. I'm, and I'm always left alone in there because we don't have enough fucking people or the kids will just wander off and do whatever the fuck. So, uh, boss lady comes up to me, the main, the main front end lady. She's like, you're alone by yourself over here? And I'm like, as usual, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, all right, well, we got, we got these two new guys. And, and, she, and I kind of like look, look at her dead eyes and my stonedness and tiredness and fuck offness must have been showing in my eyes because she's like, I'll get one of them from over there that they can shadow. I'm like, thanks. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <Lucky> enough. <laughs> I, I, some, something must have been on my face that she just like knew and was like, yeah, not a good idea. All right. <laughs> it's fucking score because I hate training kids who aren't even going to be there for a fucking month anyway. Oh, training people in any job is fucking torture. And fucking blows. So then, oh boy, hell yeah, get him out. I'm telling all the notes here. 
Uh, maybe except for one or two. Because, but this one, this one, I just enjoyed because I, old white dudes, old white dudes come to Walmart to be and get more angry. For sure, dude. Yeah, I absolutely that is not surprising. Mm-hmm. So this dude is at the machine. He's paying, putting in his bill, spits back out. Wow. Puts in his bill, spits back out. Wow. I'm watching him do this all the time. <laughs> sure, sure. And he's like, what's, what's the problem with this fucking thing? And I'm like, well, I don't even let me see your bill there. And he's got like an old, like I got two generations ago, old ass hundred dollar bill. Sure. I'm like, oh, your bill is too old. He's like, what does that mean? I'm like, well, you know, you know how we have the new style hundreds? He's like, yeah. It's like, these machines only take those. He's like, that's fucking stupid. And I'm like, yeah, it is. He's like, well, what do I do? And I'm like, you can go to one of the regular registers. I can send you up to customer service. He's like, fuck that. Get me a manager. <laughs> Gee, which is easier here, guy? <laughs> it's literally going to be the same answer. So I go get my supervisor. She tells me the exact same things. And I guess because they technically hold a higher rank than you, it makes it acceptable. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're just a <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> you little me. bitch. This is the I, one place I can fucking, I've lowered my power over somebody. Fucking grub in, 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 the, in the presence of giants, you know? But. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to do one more here, and then you can play the music again. It's late at night, prime stealing hours, and this whole family comes in. A couple of, a couple of older, like an, an older man, an older woman, older than myself, I mean, you know, maybe in the 50s, possibly 60s, and a few kids. And uh, one of the functions of the self-checkout machines, kids, is if you uh, pretend to scan something, it knows uh -huh. that. And it'll alert us, and it'll freeze the thing. Sure, sure. I, so I get that message, and I fucking ah, goddamn. That was <laughs> gonna be the best message to get, I would imagine. Well, because because when you do get that message, you have to beep your thing, and it pulls up a video of them like showing them doing the thing, like it's right yeah. there. And I'm like, you're gonna you're gonna have to scan those five, six, seven packs of fucking shitty little electrons that you just put in the bag, there, guys. Yeah. And it's like nothing. It's like charging cords and like car chargers and fucking like, yes. It's sure. And I'm like, I want it. We did scan it. And this old man's a little belligerent. Like, we did scan it. What is it? And I'm like, here, look. You see, you didn't scan that. You got to do this. Go, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. What is this? Get, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be insulted by you standing here over me doing this. You fucking I'm, grub. And I'm <laughs> and I'm like, all right, man. Let's, and he's like, wait, we're scared. Get, get the hell out of here. I'm like, all right. And I stand just off to the side because now I have to fucking watch them. Yeah. And they do it again. And I go over again. I'm like, you got to scan everything. Like, we don't even want this shit. Get, take it. Stay it. Get it out of here. I'm like, right. Of course you didn't want to buy it. <laughs> you want this shit. <laughs> so they they managed to buy a few things. The guy's grumbling. They're just like, be insulted by you standing here. We ain't trying to steal nothing. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> and they buy a couple of like little things and they fuck off and that was fucking mess. That's life at the Walmart. Hit the music, Johnny. Man. It's just life at the Wally, though. Man. Yeah. It's just a, one more other little thing we wanted to sneak in there before the end of this extra awesome fucking long episode. Oh, my God. This still might be the longest one we've ever done. It's, it's up there. I don't know. I don't have the clock on my side, so I don't really know how long it's been. It's uh, 50, almost 51. Who oh, boy. It's, Compelling podcastery talking about the uh, pants. Be cut that, cut that, that, cut that, cut that, cut that. Okay. There will be nothing so. cut. There will only be things put in. <laughs> you are more, goddammit. J Rock and Seinfeld <laughs> merged together. You see, me and Tone, we play this game called Worms, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and during these games with the Worms, we, we have ideas. And uh, one of the ideas was uh, J-Rock Seinfeld. <laughs> Everybody in the parks, we're all motherfuckers, we're all motherfuckers. Do you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> now, of course, I can't remember any actual J Rock quote to fucking bolster this. But... Please turn the sepia up. That shit is no. God damn it, I had one and now I lost it because you made me fucking laugh. Uh, fuck. well, but I created some on a thing and I'm going to play them before, <laughs> before the episode is over. So here's, here's some space for that. And the deal is that in this park, it's one motherfuckers for one and all motherfuckers for all motherfuckers. My rhymes and microphone are like a corporate murder. They go together like Randy's gut and a cheeseburger, if you get what I'm laying down. What are you from the department of know what I am sayings? Are you taking a know what I'm saying census? I spin more rhymes than a lazy Susan, but I'm innocent until my guilt is proven peace Sunnyville straight the fuck up. I hear chicken. I hear cola fizz and mustard and relish coagulating together with french fries and onion rings, but you know what? I don't hear a hard motherfucker. Believe it or not, mom, some people think I'm gonna make it in this rap game. Know what I am saying? Stole a diamond ring to make my girl my wife. That's trailer park life. Yes. All right, now yeah. play, the, no, play the fucking music. There it goes. There's the you can clearly hear it. It's, 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 it's cotton, cotton 8K quality, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, it's been a fine episode, I gotta say. Uh, I, I guess I did a lot of talking, Tone did a lot of talking, and hopefully... I loved it. I thought it was a good one, man. I like the stories. Uh, it was a good one. Let me once again say fuck Mom's Basement Records and fuck the Jasons, because they're a bunch Team of... Team Ambivalence. Team Ambivalence all the way. Hashtag that sounded... Uh, that's, uh, hold on, I, I could do better than that. Team Ambivalence, motherfuckers, get in there, both feet, dig it in, and shut it down. Fuck the Jasons. <gasps> we were two fat guys on the internet, Team Ambivalence. We currently are two fat guys on the internet, Team Ambivalence. We are always going to be Team Ambivalence, two fat guys on the internet. So, go oh, Ambivalence yourselves. Self Ambivalence.